Today on the channel, my dad is back as we unbox the Invisible Man from NECA. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here with a special guest back again for this Universal Monster unboxing, my dad. Dad, say hello. Hey, hello. Hello. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> and today on the channel, we're back at it with the Universal Monsters, the latest and greatest from NECA in the Universal Monsters, Invisible Man. And But remember, for all your Invisible Man needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE to save yourself 10%. And of course, anything over $39 does ship free. And I'm sure that's what we all do. We always use discount code KYLE, of course, at Entertainment yeah. Earth. Got to do it. Got to get a deal, as we all know. And I think you were the one that told me way back when, 1985, I think it was, you said, Kyle, always get a deal. You put me on your knee, said, I want to tell you something that's really important that's going to stick with you the rest of your life. Got to get a deal. And I remember that like it was yesterday. Ah, uh, I think just, I yes, did. yes. Did. Sitting yeah. at the kitchen table, yeah. it's quite the time, quite the time. Yeah. But welcome back to the channel, Dad. It's been a while. Can you remember the last one you were here for? I don't know if I can. Oh, it was one of the Universal Monsters, I know. Um, what was the last one? Probably uh, one of the uh, Silver oh, you silver know, Editions, you either know, Frankenstein or the Mummy. I think it was the Mummy with the uh, Tomb. That's that's right. The Tomb of the Mummy. All we the had accessories. That, the accessory pack there. So we do have the Dracula one, or the Frankenstein one. I think some places the Frankenstein kit is out, so uh, we'll have to do that eventually, hopefully. Are you going to pick that Frankenstein set up with never the, know. With the a, table? and Take a look at it. Got to get it, got to get it. But today, you're really excited. I can tell, I can feel the energy in the air because we have the Invisible Man. And to most people, I would say probably the most popular universal monster of all time, or not at all, actually. But what are your thoughts on the old Invisible Man? I think uh, he, he probably was one of the least popular among yes. you know all the people that have watched Universal movies, but it is it's a complex movie and it's a unique character and I think if people would revisit it or look at it, it, it it's a good movie. You know, my problem is I'm just not a deep thinker in movies. I want to just tune in and tune out. That's what I want to do. I don't want to have to think through the story. And I, I remember watching The Invisible Man as a kid, and it didn't really resonate with a young Kyle. And I think I've seen it maybe one time, maybe one and a half times in my entire life. I don't know how many times you've seen well, it. Well, just wait till this Saturday. It's on Sven Gulli. Oh, Sven Gulli, depending when this video drops. January 14th. Patreon members, uh, you're going to get this early, so you'll know all about the Sven Gulli episode. Maybe we'll do a live watch along with my dad and Sven Gulli. Maybe we'll get Sven Gulli here. He just lives down the Nothing road. Nothing like watching Sven Gulli live on Saturday. You uh, can watch these movies, obviously, on the internet or anytime you want to, but with him and his uh, humor, yeah, incredible. Not a better Saturday night. Get a, get a pizza and a little Sven Gulli, a little Invisible Man, and man, you're truly off to the you races. And I will say, I gotta do a special shout out to your good friend and mine, that old outlaw, that old outlaw, Waylon Jennings. We all know old Waylon Jennings, right up the road, of course, Ames, yeah. Iowa. Huh? The God's country, some might say. Yeah. Uh, he is his favorite Universal monster is the Invisible Man. Can you believe that? And some would say Waylon Jennings is a bit of an Invisible Man too because people think I'm just making it up saying, why are you shouting out that old legend uh, Waylon Jennings? Well, he's a real person and he's been on the channel. You've seen him. Well, in Ames, I was right next to Lukenbach, Texas. So, you know, Very close. Like so divide back line. and forth. There is a little river, but there yeah. is a bridge to cross yeah. to get through there. So Got that it. is very true. But Dad, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this unboxing review like we do all the other unboxings and reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there and who's to say where the invisible man will go from there so without further ado let's get after it let's take a look at the packaging here any thoughts on the packaging from you very cool movie poster very cool movie poster that's the original poster from the 1933 it was released in 1933 this movie now would you <laughs> if you had this poster framed would you hang this in your wall that's always a good lit and miss test uh, I'd switch them around often, okay. but it, I could. Yeah. Okay, you'd switch yeah. it around. I'd switch it to, you know. There's on the side. Because you got some uh, movie posters in your in your house I set do. up, don't you, in your basement? I do. In your man cave? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. you got a collection, and people have asked, can we tour your collection? And I said, maybe one day. We'll see what happens. I said, he's really shy. Maybe we'll do it as a Patreon exclusive. I pared it way down, so it would he take has. five minutes. Probably. It would only be, I mean, you got, like yours. you got like, what, three or four bookshelves, probably. Probably. Something like that. Mine's, Something like that. mine's more or less Americana. Yeah. That's yeah. what I would call it. It's funny is how when you, I think this is what will happen to me as well. When I get older and uh, I get used to uh, 
paring down the collection, it'll become into miscellaneous shelves where right now you got details full of wrestlers. Well, it'll turn into a miscellaneous shelf where I got one shelf of just random wrestlers from different lines, stuff that really means a lot. And then you just kind of pair from there. I think it's the slow, the slow purge. Yeah, uh, you have a few it. things that are representative of all the different genres you, you watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could uh, take a picture with your big cigar store Indian you got. Oh, yeah. Always. He's, hopefully he's, I get that in the will. That'll be a good one for me. He's six foot one. He's six foot one cigar store Indian sitting in the house. It's awesome. Oh, yes, it's awesome. Let me tell you. I'll tell you more about it. We'll do a review on that one. Uh, but there it is on the back, too. Uh, Visible Man. He's drinking the Magic Elixir. Uh, I don't know what that is. It could be Alka-Seltzer, for well, all I know. Just, just an aside on that, he researched how to become invisible. What he neglected to find out was there was an ingredient called monocaine that not only helped you become invisible, but it made you psychotic and crazy. Mm -hmm. So he didn't read all, of, all the way down on the formula. <laughs> he stopped at a point, and uh, little did he know that he would become... Uh, almost an anti-human person and, and very psychotic. And that's what happens, too. If you don't read the directions, and I believe that was the case of why they put the labels and all the details on the labels going yeah. forward because of this uh, tragic... It's, it's probably why you can't buy monocane today. That's true. It's, Never it's, heard of it. No. You I do get in the back, you get his little laboratory back there. That's nice for you diorama guys out and gals out mm -hmm. there. So Very nice. A little something-something. little plastic prison on the Invisible Man. What is that? Noses? Probably. <laughs> he had a lot of fake noses. <laughs> There it is. So we got all kinds of different accessories here. We're going to walk through it like we always do with the different accessories. He has more fake noses than Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> more fake noses. I, I like what I like what you're doing there. I see that. Here, I'm going to give you these noses. See if you can get these out of the little baggie here. <laughs> I'm going to put you to work. See if you can get that out. I don't know. It's crazy some of the stuff. Boy, they lock all this stuff in, which I understand, but it can get frustrating trying to get all this stuff out of the package from time to time. Now, how many times do you think you've seen the Invisible Man in your life? Oh, probably three. Three? And th there's many uh, versions, isn't there, of the Invisible Man? There's a number of sequels that are much different than the original movie. Uh, for, there's one called The Invisible Agent that features his grandson. And his oh. grandson, finding the formula again at the behest of the government, uh, becomes invisible and goes and fights the Nazis in World War II. <laughs> so he was a good invisible man, as opposed to his grandfather, who was an evil invisible man. <laughs> well, that's an interesting story arc. The Invisible Man fights uh, Nazis. But there are, there, I think there are two other sequels uh, aside from that one. What was that? It's kind of like that one movie... Did you ever see this one? It was like a couple years ago. It was like Sam Elliott starred in it, but it was like the man that fought Hitler and Bigfoot. Ah, uh, no. You that, one, that one escaped me. That's a good movie. Wow. You should check that out. He goes out and he like fights to the death with Bigfoot. I think he killed Hitler in it too. Sam Elliott, quite the actor, of course. Off to the races. See you later off to the side. All right, now we got a lot of accessories here. We got to be careful. We got to be careful not to lose right. stuff. We got the noses. That has a nose already in it. So, so. that must be removable. <laughs> with removable it could be. noses. It could who would have thought? All right, let's start with these accessories first. We got a book. Now, I always love books like this because uh, longtime collectors, people that collect many different lines, they can get this book and they can uh, use it with their Marvel Legends. They can mm -hmm. use it with their G.I. Joe. So you can get extra use out of this. Not sure what all this jibber jabber is in here. It looks no, like that a lot would of be science. The, that would be the formula. Is for this the actual formula? Right. Wow. Well, it is very confusing formula, but you know, we might try to get this on a bigger piece of paper and we'll see if we can come up with that cure later on this week on the channel here. <laughs> so we do got that. I uh, think it even confused the invisible man. Uh, look I think what, it look did. what happened to him. <laughs> it confused me. Yeah. Now this must be the drink. That's that's that your is elixir. The, the magic elixir. You. And it's purple, it looks like. Yeah. And it's interesting, he's got a big straw in there. Yeah. It, when do you remember? Here's a question. You know, when I was little, I used to always watch black and white shows. Very early in the morning. I'd be up at like 5.30 in the morning on a school mm -hmm. day. And I'd be watching Lassie on Nickelodeon, of course. And I for sure thought that back in the day when you were a kid, that w the world was in black and white. Okay. And I remember just distinctly asking you, Dad, what was it like when color was invented? <laughs> I remember thinking the world was black and white. No, you had to explain to me, no, it was black and white TV and, and uh, right. things like that going on. So uh, very interesting how that all works out. But Mr. Wizard was a favorite of mine, and oh, he was boy. always putting up those elixirs and things yeah. like that going on. But now here's the deep, hard-hitting question where I was mm -hmm. going with this. Now, he's got a straw here. When right. do you remember straws first being used? 
<laughs> Dude, now straws, how old? Who invented the straw and when did it happen? Does it predate? No, you? I I no, I think uh, I think people were using straws probably at World War II through the 50s and 60s. I know they were. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, when you were a little kid, do you ever remember life without straws? No. Okay. Well, no, I, just, I always I always remember straws. Okay. I, I just didn't know if they had straws way back no. then. I don't, I don't know. I wonder when those were invented because this is a very weird looking straw and that could just be because of the figure, but it, mm. it is very strange. So it looked like something that wasn't quite produced through yet. But. Well, straws were invented after witnessing the Amazon Indians with their blowguns. Oh, and it was so the reverse effect. You could shoot darts. Why can't you drink a drink? That's... You know, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. I think we're going to put that down as a fact right yeah, there. That is. All right, we continue on with some more accessories. What is this? Is a toupee? Yes. <laughs> so, very strange here. It's a little bit of a hair piece, and it's like folded together. So, I guess this is something he would hold in his hand. It's like, hey, here's my Slap hair. Slap it on his head. It's coming out. See, there's, there's a huge downside to being an invisible man. Mm -hmm. First of all, if you live in Alaska or Iowa, you have to have your clothes off. <laughs> that's true. And that, that makes that's sense. A, that's a huge problem. That's true, because it's cold, because he's invisible, but he's still going to be cold, so what do you I, do? Oh, boy. You know, that's another part of the invisible man that is very, very tough. To, uh, it's hard to wrap your mind around a little bit there, because, yeah, he's going to be cold, so. And a huge problem with eating food, because people will see chicken wings in the air, and all of a sudden they disappear. Makes sense, too. Which, which is shocking to a lot of people. <laughs> just a chicken wing flying through the right. air. I mean, absolute. what is the good of invisibility, unless you're just standing there still in a nice environment, a nice controlled temperature of 70 right. degrees, Makes a lot of sense when you really do think about it. When you really break down this movie, the hard-hitting facts, that makes a lot of sense right. to me. It uh, looks like we've got another pair of goggles. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure why we need so many goggles with him, but He's got another there it is. Yeah. There it is. Uh, then we get down to the hands. Usually we start with the hands. We're going to end with the hands here a little bit. But we do get hands here. We get the splayed out hand. We get a holding hand, uh, a gripping hand. And it looks like gloved hands. A uh, very leather glove, very like driving gloves, pilot gloves, right. something like that. And then, so what are these? What are these? We get three, I guess, skin tone. Like It looks like he's got latex gloves on. Probably. So I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long time. I don't think I've seen this movie since I was in like seventh grade. Right. Well, it's been a while. But these look like latex gloves of some kind, I guess. So we can show that he has some. Or they could person. be. A, they could be part of his uh, a human, a actual human hands. Uh, at the end of the movie, he was shot by the police and the sheriff, and and then just like the Wolfman, he returns to his human form. And did he die in that movie? Yes. I don't he remember. Was, he Boy, was it's shot been a long time. Him. Um. After a, a rampage of killing hundreds of people throughout the through the movie, from his landlord to derailing a train to killing his assistant to killing a policeman, a farmer goes out in the barn and sees the hay moving, and so he calls. It's the, not a rat. No, he calls the police, and they determine, oh, that's our boy in there, the Invisible Man. So they set fire to the barn. Out he comes. They see his footprints in the snow. They shoot at the footprints, and they get him. I wish the Invisible Man had flight. That would be one thing he could. If he could fly, too, yeah. he would have gotten away with it. There you go. Uh, then we get three different noses for some reason here. I'm not sure I'm not sure the reason for three noses. No, Any I ideas? Can't I can't tell you that. And it doesn't look like they must, this maybe one. Maybe they're just easy to lose. <laughs> I could, could. They, look very, they are yeah. very small. They very well right. easily. So FYI, be careful there. But it doesn't fit into this extra head head so i guess it might be this one right. but i guess let's look at the heads first All on right. this guy we'll look at the the head that's stock and decide which head was the one we want to display with him but this is the stock head the glass is not removable uh none of that going on so it's basically right. just a uh, plain jane invisible man he's got the mummy wrapping he's got a little hair pieces coming out which is a little strange it's like the hair I guess the hair is just, he's just not wrapped all the way. I mm -hmm. thought it was like, yeah, mm -hmm. so that makes sense, I guess. So a little interesting there. The next head we get here is, uh, mm -hmm. this looks like uh, Terrence and Philip <laughs> from uh, South Park. If you ever see Terrence and Philip, uh, they always have their mouth kind of up. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of how it kinda looks half to me. the head open. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that's okay. exactly what it looks like yeah. to me. So it's Terrence and Philip version. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's him kind of unwrapped a little bit there. Right. He does got the nose still going on. Same hair pieces uh, across the boards we saw in this one. Then the final one here, I don't know. I don't know what you call this. It's like full-on mummy wrap, but invisible on the inside. No nose. Hair is a little bit more crazier, yeah. so this is more of his descent into madness. Well, you would see him in the movie in various stages like that, and people would happen upon him, like his land, landlady um, sees the mess in his apartment, sees that you know he's doing these experiments. 
So sometimes he'd be without the nose, or he'd be just in the in the position of putting on his glasses or whatever. But uh. well, I am not sure. I'm at a little bit of loss. So you got three noses, and they all look identical. So I don't know if they're supposed to be fake. No, did he do fake noses like uh, the old uh, glasses and noses and the push broom exactly. eyebrows? Yeah. So I guess Everything that's what it is. Fake. So he's got fake noses. To I put guess down. they're just easy to lose. They do look pretty much <laughs> the same. So they gave you they gave you a wealth of them in case. Yeah, but the thing is, them. they don't go in. I mean, it kind of you can kind of jam it in there yeah. on this extra head, but not the easiest. So I guess it's one of those things where you could hold it. He's pulling right. it out. Oh, got your nose, the old trick. <laughs> I still like to play it on my kids. Doesn't work as well as it used mm -hmm. to, but I guess that's it. So we get three of these noses. I don't know. I guess the noses have it. I guess we'll just say there. there you so go. very strange, but interesting body shape on the Invisible Man. Outside of the head, it's pretty plain Jane. It looks like a guy from the '30s getting ready to go uh, have a smoke at the. Uh, <laughs> Local a pool hall or something that's what like he was that. Doing. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like here. There's right. not a lot of frills with this one, especially compared to the Wolfman's Frankenstein's, where you get a true monster feel to it. The Invisible Man's kind of a different kind of monster, kind he of is. a more psychological monster in, in some ways. Um, but very, very interesting here. So he does got a blue tie on him. He's got a, what would you call this suit color? A bluish midnight blue, blackish right, dark one. Blue, yeah. He's got the pocket square. Would you ever dabble in the pocket squares? Always, always. Did you really? With suspenders. Suspenders and pocket squares. I don't believe it. I don't suits, remember that. I don't remember suits. that. I do remember like uh, when you retired, and of course you yeah. had to, back in the 80s especially, you had to get like mm -hmm. tailor-made suits. Yeah. Because he's six foot eight, guys. He's a giant. He's a land of giants. Uh, and you know, it's always funny because we always joke about our Uncle Paul, or my Uncle Paul, of course, the big show, as most people know him here, but we just call him Paul. Uh, but everybody's like, Kyle, oh, you look just like him. And I was like, yeah, I mean, that's my dad's brother. <laughs> you guys know that. I mean, we're a land of giants. I'm just a run of the litter. But dad's 6'8". I don't think so. Old Uncle Paul, he's you know seven foot mm -hmm. plus. Crazy times, crazy times. But uh, I remember when you went to the Goodwill and didn't you drop off a bunch of those suits and the Goodwill was really excited, like, hey, all right, we got all these suits coming in. Jokes on you, they're six foot eight suits. Wasn't it something like that? <laughs> something. Something like that. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha. Last laugh try, goodwill. Try and find someone that can wear them. Yeah, nobody's gonna be able to wear or them. They can cut them down. They can cut them down. There you go. Uh, articulation wise, head removable, head side to side, up and down. Decent movement on the head, okay. Arms do go all the way around. You do get single jointed elbows, hands removable, side mm. to side, waist articulation. The coat does not hinder articulation there. Whoa. Look at that. He can do those big old invisible man splits, jumping over hay bales. Gymnastics. Yeah, exactly. Doing what he needs to do. No thigh cut, but you do get kind of the swivels. You can hear the ratchet. There you go. Very loud. Single jointed knees right there, and then ankles up, down, back, and forth. Let's see how it looks. And you could technically, this is actually another head he has. He comes with yeah. a fourth head right there with no there you head. Go. So, I don't know, you could put the goggles on there, it could just be floating in the air. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen something akin to like a flight stand that goes into the peg joint here that you could like just put these goggles on so it looks like they're floating in the air okay. or just the nose on uh, or something like that. And who knows, maybe we threw it away, but I don't think there was anything like that no. in this pack. So, I don't know, but you got different heads for sure. I'm going to put on the Terrence and Philip head. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's like Terrence and Philip is what that reminds me of. I feel like we're in an episode of South Park. There you go. <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know what to think on this guy on my final verdict. I mean, it, going into this, I knew it wouldn't be as iconic to me as Frankenstein. It wouldn't be as Wolfman or the upcoming Dracula and Creature from Black Lagoon. Really looking forward to mm -hmm. those ones. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, this guy was always just kind of uh, one of those universal monsters. And I, I put him in the bottom tier with like the fan of the opera. That's another one I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of. Um, so we'll see where he ends up shaking out before things are all said and done. But uh, an interesting one. I don't know if it's going to set the world on fire. And like I said, I don't think it's going to set uh, the records of Frankenstein, the mummy, or, or the big three or big four, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. But does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's always a good test. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. <clears throat> and what do you know? He does fit on a ringside collectible stand. There you go. Any last thoughts for you on the Invisible Man? Anything you think about him? Well, I, I think... The, I think the one we took out of the box is the best representation. These other two heads are, you'd see that in the movie in different aspects. Um, no, it's it, it's a decent movie. It has a great actor who plays the Invisible Man, Claude Rains, who most people don't realize played Sir John Talbot, Larry Talbot's father in The Wolfman. Oh, well, there you go. And was also in the great movie Casablanca with uh, Humphrey Bogart. Okay. So he he's an English actor, and he had a lot of uh, movies made in the United States. And so, you know, the acting's good and uh, the supporting cast is good.
So like it sounds like you trying to justify the goodness of the movie. Like I'm always justifying the <laughs> Ultimate Warrior to the people. It's people, some yeah. people don't like Warrior. I can't yeah. believe it. No, but yeah, I, not necessarily for me. An interesting figure. The problem with NECA is NECA figures never go to clearance, so that's always a, a tough one. You very rarely could get a deal on something like this. But if you're going to be all in on your Universal Monsters, you've got to have a guy like this in your collection. Have to. Uh, but like I said, just because he's not my favorite and he's somewhere in the middle for you, there's always that old outlaw Waylon Jennings somewhere out there that it's his <laughs> favorite. So there's always somebody that this is his favorite, and uh, I think Invisible Man fans are very excited to get this in their collection. And I think there's been a few updates of the Invisible Man movies over the time, and I never saw those either. So uh, I'm not really the expert on the Invisible Man, but we're trying. We're trying our best here. That's all you can do is give your best every single day and two feet forward, keep moving along. So there it is. There you go. So there it is. That is the Invisible Man. Dad, thank you for coming to the channel. Thanks for no hanging problem. out, checking it out. I think Dracula will be next for these, so uh. we're going to look forward to old Dracula. Bella Lugosi himself, that should be a really good one. Uh, we got to get Frankenstein's uh, accessory set. We'll get uh, the, the coffin for Dracula as well, so there's a lot to come. And I heard the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon is going to come with an actual lagoon. Ooh, so wow. that should be really fun for the kids to swim in the summer and things like that. So much more to come <laughs> when that does happen. But make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as I always do say. Don't forget about the Patreon channel for early access to videos like this, bonus content, early content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it, a lot going on over there in the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel. Speaking of, can I borrow $5 after this? Oh, sure. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, and then you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and then hit me up on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Dad, where can they find you? Is the TikTok uh, died down for the holidays a little bit? It's died. I, I've had COVID and the flu back to back oh, for tough, six weeks so i'm still times. i'm still recovering uh, so the tiktok has wound down a little bit you know you just don't feel like dancing when you've got now all these things. i did hear through the grapevine you are working on a special valentine's dance is that true can i admit that here or should i edit that out you can that's you can <laughs> disclose that that's fine okay. i mean uh, yeah yeah, we'll, the we'll surprise talk. will be the dance. That's we'll exactly right. Just yeah. just know somewhere just Valentine's the, yeah. week on his TikTok, yeah. you will see quite the Valentine's dance. So you guys will enjoy that. So stay That's tuned. That's assuming I'm recovered by it. That's true. By That's the, true. You never know what I'm might happen. I'm still kind of. Still kind of fighting the battle. Stuffy. <laughs> fighting the battle. Not me. Never give mm -hmm. up. Never surrender. Right. <laughs> there it is. All right, Dad. Thanks for coming over for the Invisible Man. Thank and you. until next time, we'll see you guys later. Or real soon. <laughs>